how often should you backwash your filter? Knowing when to clean your sand or DE filter is critical to keeping your pool clean and clear. So here are a few simple rules when to backwash your filter and when not to. Check it out. So first, what is backwashing? If you have a sand filter or a diatomaceous earth or DE filter, backwashing is the process of reversing the flow of pool water through your filter. If you have a cartridge filter, you do not need to backwash it at all. Over time, as your filter runs, the filter medium will become clogged. And when you backwash your filter, it forces all the debris and dirt caught in the media in your filter to dislodge. And then it's flushed out through your waste or drain port. So how often should you backwash your filter? Well, it depends on how much you use your pool, how often debris gets in your pool, and what type of filtration system you have. But there are a few rules for when it's definitely time to backwash your filter. Rule number one, backwash when your pressure reads 10 PSI above normal. If your pressure gauge is 10 PSI or pounds per square inch over your normal operating pressure, it's time to backwash. A high pressure reading means that your filter has accumulated enough dirt and debris to prevent water from flowing freely through it. How do you know what's your normal pressure? Well, right after you backwash your filter, take note of the pressure gauge. In most cases, it should read between about 10 and 15 PSI. That's your baseline. If your normal filter performance is 11 PSI and you notice your pressure gauge reading 21 PSI, it's probably time to backwash. Now, just keep in mind that as the sand in your filter ages, the pressure in your filter may increase regardless of how many times or how long you backwash. And be sure that your pressure gauge is in proper working condition. But even if it's not, here are a few other telltale signs that it's time for a good old backwash in. Rule number two, backwash when the water flow is low. If your pump and filter are running and you notice that the water is not flowing strongly through your return jets and into your pool, it may be time to backwash your filter. Simply put your hand over the return jets to feel if the water is flowing appropriately. If the water flow is weak, it might be time to backwash. Rule number three, backwash when your water is cloudy. Cloudy water may be a sign that your filter media is dirty or that it can't catch all the dirt and debris before they flow back into your pool. However, there are definitely other culprits to cloudy pools, so be sure to check out our other video on how to clear up your cloudy pool water. Rule number four, backwash after a heavy rain or lots of debris have gotten into your pool. If a large amount of dirt and debris gets into your pool water, like after a big rainstorm, you'll need to backwash after clearing out that debris with a skimmer net and manual vacuum or after shocking your pool water. Real quick before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your pool questions, go check out our pool care handbook and video course. You'll get over 30 in-depth video lessons and a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything you need to know about pool maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your swimming pool clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of pool, including in-ground, above-ground, and in-tex blow-up pools. And the best part is we always keep it up to date, so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. So because you're watching this video, you can go to swimuniversity.com slash pool and use the promo code video to get 10% off the pool care handbook and video course right now. That's swimuniversity.com slash pool and use the promo code video. Rule number five, backwash your DE filter if it's been running nonstop. If your DE filter has been running for 48 hours straight or more, that DE will start to settle into your filter grid and this can cause pressure to build up even if your filter grids are clean. Remember, you'll also need to replace your DE filter with fresh, clean DE after backwashing. Okay, so backwashing is an important part of basic pool care, but overdoing it is a common pool maintenance mistake. So when should you not backwash your filter? Weirdly enough, a little debris in your filter is actually a good thing. Extra debris caught in your filter helps to trap finer particles. Backwashing too often can stir up the sand and allow small particles to pass through the filter and back into your pool. But once the buildup raises your pressure reading around 10 PSI over your baseline, there's a little too much debris in there. 
Also, if your pool has an algae problem, you'll probably need to bypass your filter entirely and vacuum to waste. Algae can easily pass through your filter medium and re-enter your pool. So instead of vacuuming your pool and then backwashing it each time, it may be better to vacuum directly to waste and then send that vacuumed water directly down the drain. Now, some people suggest backwashing your filter once a week during the pool season, but that's not totally necessary. And really, it's just a trick to help you remember to do it regularly. Backwashing means you lose a lot of water, so just remember, a little debris in the filter isn't a bad thing. And be sure to check out our other video that walks you through the entire step-by-step -step process on how to backwash your filter. If there's a pool care topic you'd like us to cover in a future video, please leave a comment to let us know. And hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about pool maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And check out the pool care handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com slash